I'm Dave Fornell, getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts on the history of the low pressure fog nozzle. The history of the low pressure nozzle actually began back in the 1930s. There wasn't really a viable fog or spray nozzle on the market at that time. Elkhart took a look at Germany and there was a company called the Mystery Fog Nozzle Company. Well, Elkhart came back and engineered this nozzle. They called it the Mystery Nozzle. It's twist to shut off just like on a garden hose. And um, when they went to flow this, and in those days there were no flow meters. So what they had to do was discharge into a 55 gallon drum and uh, then they would measure the water, they would time it, they would measure, uh, weigh the water to see how much the flow was. Well, at 50 pounds nozzle pressure, which is what the smoothbores operate at, they found out that this thing really flowed about 40 gallons a minute. Not enough, not enough for an attack. So they didn't know what to do. They had the nozzle, they had the patterns, they had everything ready to go, and, uh, and now they had to come up with a different design until one of the engineers came up and said, why don't we double that nozzle pressure? So they started operating this at 100 pounds, and they found out that it flowed 95 gallons a minute at 100 pounds. You always wonder why inch and a half nozzles were rated 95 at 100. That's because that's what this nozzle flowed at 100 pounds nozzle pressure. So it ended up that, that 100 PSI became the standard nozzle pressure. And um, the NFPA standard for nozzles in, in, you know, up until the middle 80s actually called for these nozzles to be rated at 100 pounds. But the first low pressure nozzle was kind of developed by accident. And it was this one. This is a two and a half inch nozzle. And this was used by Chicago starting in the late 40s, early 50s. But this nozzle at 100 pounds at a 30 degree fog would flow 250 gallons a minute. But at straight stream, it would flow 170 gallons a minute. But if you bring that back down to 50 pounds, it was flowing about 140, 150 gallons a minute. So this was the first 50 PSI fog nozzle. But these lasted until the late 50s, early 60s. And then the Chicago Fire Department started buying off the shelf nozzles, which were rated 95 at 100. Well, they weren't getting the water. They wanted more water. They wanted to be able to handle that water. So it, in, in the middle 70s, they asked Elkhart to come up with a nozzle with a lever shut off that they could use, but still gave them that slug of water that they got out of, this, out of the mystery nozzle. And so Elkhart came up and it was about 150 at 50 was the stem that went in the middle of the nozzle. And uh, so it gave them the convenience of the lever shut off. Uh, it gave them the fog patterns they wanted, but it also gave them a very, very effective straight stream. About the same time, the Los Angeles Fire Department was doing research in reducing the stress on the firefighters. And so they started looking at different nozzles and they were measuring nozzle reactions and had people uh, uh, you know, crawl with a line and hit a target and that type of thing. Uh, and they ended up with this nozzle. Uh, again, hey, it looks like, just like the mystery nozzle, doesn't it? Uh, it breaks apart so you can advance the hose line on it. It does twist and it shuts off just like the old one, but this was rated at 75 pounds, 200 gallons a minute. And um, so if they operated it at just a little less, they were getting that sweet 150, 160. Uh, it was easy for one person to handle and they were getting a good slug of water out of it. Now today, we're, we're definitely worried about firefighter fatigue. We're worried about getting a lot of water on the fire. This is where the low pressure really shines. And this is a contemporary version. This flows 160 gallons a minute at 50 pounds, same as a 7H tip. So for the departments that really want the versatility of having a fog, you can ventilate the fire afterwards. Uh, if you need to uh, disperse uh, like propane, that type of thing. The low pressure, hey, is an ideal all-purpose nozzle. Easy to handle, tremendous stream, great knockdown.